Hello, everyone, and welcome to VW MOOC 19 and our presentation of the day. Uh, today's presentation is with Anne Nowak and Von Rhein in Second Life, Annabelle Origin in Open Sim Worlds. There will be three speakers today, and Anne has an MA in linguistics and certification in digital games in English language teaching, as well as using ICT in the classroom. She has many years experience in blended learning, which is face-to-face -face and online in real life and teaches technical English at a university and general English at secondary school in Germany. Anne's work in Second Life includes teacher training, moderating, and presenting at conferences. Her tasks in virtual worlds include developing syllabi, teaching English, Spanish, German, and methodology, making machinima, and creating innovating interactive scenes, experiences, and games for education. Uh, this includes history, anthropology, storytelling, and languages at different sims, museums, and schools. Our next speaker is John Origin. John Origin is a software developer with 30 years experience, including 12 years in Second Life and Open Sim. He lives in the UK. And our third speaker today is Dr. Ramesh Ramlal. Ramesh Origin in Virtual Worlds. He's a software engineer by training, an entrepreneur by trade, and a creative designer at heart. He has successfully raised funding for various research and development efforts, both as an academic and as the founder, CEO, and CTO of a privately owned, geographically distributed company. His primary interest is to use information technologies to empower people so that they can create, learn, and collaborate better. His previous work and inventions span areas including assistive clinical therapy, educational, and collaborative technology applications. So we're anxious and excited about this session. And uh, Nana's in the background. She's going to be screen sharing our visit. So here we are. So Anne, are you starting? Or I think Dr. Remish will be starting. So I'll let you do it and I'll mute my mic. Okay, well, I think we should... <laughs> Yes, Ramesh. Um, well, I think we should get people into our grid to say hello to them. I can see Maggie running around, I think. Selby? Uh, you are in Kitely. Oh, no, I am in... Okay. I think we will have to go and TP you or... Okay. Let me just have a look, just a second. So Anne is saying, sorry, Nan is saying that we're all there. I'm there too. Um, and we're waiting in Kitely and for you to come in there, I guess. Okay, we will give you the address so you can come in. I, I'm, I'm being told that it's not a problem. Wait a second. I will paste this address and you can just use it and you can come in here. All right, thank you, John. So if you paste this address, you can land here where we are all waiting for you. Mm -hmm. 
grid.racemela.net. Right, I see some people standing there trying to teleport. Can you teleport just, us because some of us just, are having problems. Are having problems? If you yeah. open the map and, okay, let me have a look. Let me just. Now we can see the image. Okay, I think John is showing how to do it. Somebody is showing how to do that. Yeah, Maggie, Maggie is here. Right, there is another possibility we can, if you send a message, we can TP you. Maggie, can you TP then if they are your friends? Okay, there are more people here. Is the TP working? Okay, we, we got the teleport, so um, that's not a problem anymore we're in. Um, I will try to teleport Selby. Oh my gosh, I blend into the chair. I'm the same color as the chair.
right, Selby's here. Hello, Selby. Okay. Well, this is nice to see you, everybody. So I think we can start. Can you hear me? I have sound here. <clears throat> okay, I, I have this microphone muted. Right, so welcome to Rismela. We are going to start here and uh, this is a new grid, a new world. And please, John and Ramesh, interrupt me anytime you want to say something. Well, as you see, this is a completely new world. Uh, we, we thought that we could start here. So this is to explain what we have and what we do here. You want me to, to read aloud what these sites are, have some information, written information. Because Maggie hasn't got any sound, so. We are a group of designers, coders, and education specialists spread across five countries coming together to design learning spaces for the future. We view vir virtual learning spaces an, as an assembly of well-defined parts that can be easily customized. We call these parts apps. So if you walk further. Apps can be viewed as small applications with a well-defined purpose. Apps are used to create scenes. Scenes are then assembled into virtual worlds. Each app has access to a library of objects. They range from simple objects such as trees and advanced objects such as NPCs. The content in this region is composed of an assembly of apps. Each app has a scene loaded. In this demo, we are focusing only on apps. We will not describe advanced features. For example, apps or maps that generate apps. That's too difficult at the moment. So let's move on so that your screen has a little bit of more color, Maggie, maybe. Um, the setting, the day, daylight is, is not okay. So, this is my first example of an app. Well, many, uh, well, many apps in one app. Okay, Maggie, maybe it takes you, um, only you have to, to stay still, to stand still so that people can see the colors and these textures. From left to right, I'm going to go to the app that I'm describing now. Now this app is called the Garden app. These are pictures that, these pictures are actually in an, an app called Museum app, where you can download pictures and upload them here and any picture on the internet. These are pictures that I took from our other apps. This app is a garden app that has a couple of buildings. This building is, is an hexagonal building that Ludo, who is present, um, designed. And you can make the buildings the way you want. If you only need a little room for your lessons, 
you can just get one building, plunk it on the floor, and there you have your classroom. If you want to make something more sophisticated, you get out more buildings and put them in the way you want, and then you have your building. This happens within a couple of minutes, if you're experienced within a couple of seconds. This is another type of building that you can have in this app. Uh, you can make your buildings uh, the way you like, like having two floors, five floors, 10 floors, uh, having a balcony, different kinds of balconies, different kinds of combinations, etc. Now I'm going to show you the third one. This is our presentation app and you can see the Rismela team working. We are all sitting there and having a presentation. The presentation app is not just for presentations, for business presentations, but this app is also ideal for teaching because you can show things on the internet, you can upload pictures, you can summarize what is being said on these uh, boards that you can see there. You have nice furniture to sit and it will take you a couple of minutes to make your presentation room with, for example, one of these buildings, uh, some furniture and the presentation app. It's very, very practical and it's very, very fast and you don't need any skills, any building skills or any other skills at all. Right, then we are going here. I'm going to start showing you the other, wait a second. Well, I'm standing in front of my favorite app. This is the PanoCube app. It is a way to immerse in a 3D environment with your avatar. Uh, you can rest furniture or whatever you want in the middle. And you can choose any place in the world to have the feeling that you are there. It will, you know, you will see it all around you. You don't need any Oculus Rift or anything to immerse there, but it's, it works very similar to, to that. I'm not going to be able to show this unfortunately tonight, but um, I have, we have tested lessons inside. That's where I would like to take uh, Nelly if she comes here for a lesson. You have uh, some German environment. You can rest some German, I don't know, a couple of furniture, something similar. And then you can have a lesson. I have lessons prepared for Spanish. Uh, yes, Elby, thank you. Now, this is another wonderful app that I like. It's a garden app. You can make any kind of garden. If you look around us, those hills and things are made with these apps. Trees, um, well, grass, everything. And you can make your world within a couple of minutes. Uh, you know that people, when they go to, well, SL or OpenSim, they need some skills and they spend a lot of time building. Well, you don't need that with this app. Um, you can have everything within a couple of minutes without having any experience uh, of landscaping, building, or whatever. And you can resize every object so that you know everything will fit and you will still have your personal touch because nobody will have the same scene even if they have the same pieces of well items so let's go to the next yes this is okay sorry my avatar is yeah not working properly so this is the island app uh, on my right. Let me walk there. So this island app is very practical because if you need different classrooms, because many teachers are working at the same time, you can each can grab an island. Uh, you can rest your 
building whatever you are going to do and separate the classrooms like that so you know your students will not be going to another classroom etc and uh, you, you can also resize the islands and you can put any other wrap on top of the islands for example let me just move to this app this is a land tiles app now here you can make wonderful scenes <clears throat> for outdoors like swimming pools um, gardens uh, anything you like with water trees rocks statues so you can have a wide variety of scenes that you can make and save you can make them within a couple of minutes save them and you can make as many as you like so next time when you have a lesson you will already have your scene but it's not a problem to create a scene 10 minutes before the lesson starts if you know what you're going to do right let me move on to the next picture now this is for more advanced um, people but i love this app because it's the npcs app yes elvi thank you <laughs> this um is an npcs app so you can have your npcs who are going to follow you or sit down and uh, help you with a scene so your students could for example enter a room where other avatars where your npcs can be sitting or doing something and they could interact as well um, of course the npcs cannot talk um, but um, <laughs> but you can fill a scene with with your npcs as well Selby is working on NPCs, that's nice. Um, I like them. Right. Well, um, interrupt me every time there is uh, any question. I, I'm not really reading here. Yes. Oh, we can, sorry, Nelly. Yes. This, this can work with any, really, with anybody, because even with grown ups, uh, simulating negotiations or presentations or it can work with anyone it can even work with kids i'm going to show you very something very interesting later on for kids it is not only for kids but it's a surprise let's go first to this presentation app here now this is the presentation app demonstrating the tools so this will be quite interesting for you you can you can take a seat or just walk i'm gonna take a seat as well so i don't know if ramesh would like to show some slides how does an app look like well it just looks like this button turn on turn off and it has got some grid there it's very easy to use just turn it on you get some heart uh, telling you what you can do and now Ramesh if you would like to show other slides I could pass on to you right you see now how this is working later on you will have enough time to test yourself all right Yes, you have a menu. Yes. See how fast the scenes get cleared and how fast you can put the next slide. There is the heart. Ramesh, if you would like voice, I will shut up and let you speak. If not, tell me, I can still make comments. Okay.
you also have to unmute yourself in uh, Zoom because the other people. Uh, Ramesh is unmuted, but we, I still don't hear him. Oh, well, you just have to unmute. That's no problem. He's unmuted, but no sound is coming out. Okay. So uh, he may, you may have to uh, repeat what he's saying, or he can refresh. Maybe he needs to uh, refresh the page. Well, yes, I can continue talking in, in Zoom, repeating what you say. Okay, but you can still talk here in, in uh, Rismela. And then I will just repeat what you say in Zoom. Okay, so I have muted myself in Rismela. Well, I can explain a bit be, um, in, <clears throat> in the meantime. This is the heart. That's what, you, what it, you're going to see on your left-hand side um, on the screen at the top. And you have, um, it's very easy to use because you have your file <clears throat> where you can load scenes that you have made. Or you can create a scene and um, well, there is a button to clear the scene and to finish when you want to log off, uh, you, you just click on finish or you click on the button again. Um, settings and advanced are something different that um, we're not going to explain today, but it's also very easy to use. Oh, all right, so I will unmute myself in Rizmela because there are some problems with uh, sound for Ramesh. Okay, I will continue talking here. I have already um, said something in, in Zoom, explained what uh, the buttons are. So I'm just going to read aloud what you write, Ramesh. Okay. Some items that are available for users and the important functions are Scene management, so clicking on file will produce a dialogue for loading and saving scene files. Also clicking on clear will clear a scene. We will leave the other functions for now, other than the create function. Well, these are the most important ones, yes. Right, next slide. Right.
Once the scene management dialog appears, you have the option to pick a previously saved file or save the current scene that you have created. Each scene can be captured as a note card and shared. So lots of collaborative opportunities. Oh yes. Because you share your cards. Let us see how we create a scene. Well, that would be the practical part, Ramesh, or? Okay, so when you click on the Create button for the given app that you sign in, you will see a list of objects that are available for this app. We have spent a lot of time crafting apps. Making sure only relevant library of objects are available. However, Users can also customize which library they want to use or not. As we navigate through the scene, the region really we will get the opportunity to see how apps are logged into, how scenes are created. And then we can visit at the periphery examples of apps. Yes, they are very, big scenes. We will see museum exhibits, molecule builders, and we are only seeing a very very small percentage of everything we have here, but we have no time. Lastly, we have developed a set of tools that facilitate user navigation and camera control. Every object in our world can be seen from an optimal angle. Or visited at an appropriate location.
we may not have time to explore these features today. We will not. But they, they are there in the heart. And the diagram shows where the buttons are and what they do. Well, we have short click, snap to ideal view, long click, jump to ideal location, reset camera to default view, and jump to last teleport position. Well, I suggest we gather around and see the sandbox. Well, yes, let's go for the practical part of this presentation. Yeah, hands out, <laughs> hands on. <laughs> All right. Thank you, Ramesh. Let's go to the middle of uh, the place. This is a sandbox and you will be able, it's okay, <laughs> you will be able to test. This is the garden app. Um, this is the museum app on my right hand side. And we have a very, very nice thing that I promised you, right? For children. Melacraft app. This is a kind of Minecraft, but you can combine it with other apps because every app here can be combined. And the molecules app on my right hand side. So now you will be able to try out any of these apps or all these apps, whatever you, you like. So who goes where? You have Sally, what would you like to try out? Maggie, what would you like to try out? Selby? Which app would you like to try out? We can help you. Each of you will have one tutor to uh, help you with So I guess Sally has opted for Melacraft. Right, Selby is going to the Molecules app. If anybody needs help, if you want me to comment, Maggie, if you want me to um, follow you and comment on what you're doing, because if you log in, people will see what you're doing. So choose one app that you like and I will comment or if I can see the screen as well. So. This is the museum app. Right, so you can click on this button. Okay, and now you, you get your heart on the left hand side so everybody can see the heart. And right, and let's say, uh, when everything appears. Let's say you don't want this uh, scene, you want to make your own scene, so you can just click on clear and the scene will be cleared. And it asks you if you're sure. Yes, you are sure. We have, um, you know, a copy of this scene inside. So you see the objects are disappearing. Right. And then you have this grid. Um, right. So, Maggie, now you have got, uh, you would like to create, so you get back home. Click on home. Right. Now you can create. You click on create.
And then the first thing you need is to go to the layout tools because you need a grid at the bottom of everything you're going to take out of the inventory. Otherwise, you will only be able to put things on this little grid. So you need to go to layout tools and choose the size of your grid. That's going to be the size of your scene. And just touch then when you, when you have chosen one size, let, let's say 16 meters or whatever. And then you just, you, you click on this white grid anywhere. Right. If it's not right, you can still nudge it, but this is a function for advanced people. Let's say this is perfect. Okay, now you can start building. You can go and search for other objects and um, you can choose sitting, uh, something to sit on, um, you can choose boards, you can choose whatever you like. First a rock, yes. Okay, so right is there. And so you go on putting things on your scene. Yes, that's a table. And don't worry, you can later on, I'll show you how to put things where you want to have them. If you, if you don't manage to put them at the beginning, just get everything out. Right, you have your chairs. This is a shelf. Right. Okay. Uh, I'm not sure if that is a shelf. Okay, yes, it's another shelf for the floor. Right. So you choose the things that you want to have and put them on the floor. Right, lamp. Okay, and this has no building so that you cannot, you cannot put one of those buildings that we see at the back. Good. So, would you like to put the things the way you want to have them now? For that, you click on an object. Let's click on a chair. And you click, a, you know, you click the chair until it glows. And then you can move it. You can, and then you can put it wherever you want or rotate it or dele delete it. You can even delete, you can nudge. So when you click, long click on an object until it glows, you can work uh, on that object. You can resize it, etc. Okay, Maggie, what would you like to do with that? Uh, well, resizing and everything has to be done um, in the menu, Maggie, if you want to, you know, but if you want to move things, you just click on them and then you can just click on the floor where you want to have them. But the thing has to glow, you know, and the object has to glow. Ah, oh, well, uh, that's not normal. 
Okay, see? Yes, you started moving objects, right. Mm, one object has to glow really, you, you really notice. Um, but Maggie, you need to use the heart. Um, you know, like if you click on the chair and you want to rotate it, you click on the chair until it glows and then the heart changes. That's how you know you're using the heart. The heart changes and tells you if you can rotate or what you can do with the object. Okay, there is some message coming and I cannot read it. Maybe John can read it. Okay, yes, sure. We can, we can, yes, because you are streaming. Let's go and have a look at Sally. What is she doing on uh, Melacraft? Yes, you clicked on, on fifth. Right, let's have a look. Yes, playing with Melacraft. This is like Minecraft, but better because you can combine it with the rest of the apps that we have here. And we have some quests here, right? Oh, you, Ramesh is making some tree, okay. Well, there are some scenes that we can load, which is quite easy, yes. <laughs> it's quite easy to build here. Right, you see? Okay. Okay, Ramesh is now clearing the tree he built and then he wants to reload. Mm -hmm. See how fast? Yes, this can be combined with other scenes and uh, I don't know if we have, well, you will be able, if you want to, go to the bigger apps um, that are surrounding us. There, there are some examples, some scenes that you can have a look at that we have made. And this is a feature that Minecraft doesn't have. Uh, you cannot combine it with other things. Yes, if you, if you make something, you can save it. You can have your heart, you can put it in your app, and you can share the note card, the information. Yes, it's, it's available and, and uh, you can share, you can share the scene that you made with another person who has got uh, another app. You can also rearrange the scene. Yes, you can, you can, yeah, store everything you create. and share scenes with other people. And you can combine the apps as you want to, to use them. In every scene, you can have different apps. And there are maps. <laughs> Ramesh, that's <laughs> for advanced. <laughs> yes, it's very advanced, I'm not sure if it's going to be too much. But you can do a lot of things with this. Yes, we can visit the exhibits. That's uh, more, something more practical. Um, well, where would you like to, to go first? So check, yeah, the museum. Oh, yes, and you can show the functions Ramesh, the functions with jump and uh, yes, this is good for young people, right? Let's go to the museum. 
which is behind us. Oh well, we don't need to fly, look. It's not so far away. So these are two museums. Okay. I will read what you say, Raj. We have created exhibits. with contents that have been preloaded. And we are experimenting with various ways of organizing them. On my right, we have a bee honeycomb architecture, which is a bit Postmodern. On my left, we have a traditional building. Both buildings can be navigated the traditional way, but the heart can be navigated quickly via the heart. I suggest holding on this for now. I think it's better if we show. Let's absorb the content first. These are paintings by Annabelle. Well, I wish they were mine. <laughs> yes, I chose this exhibition. <laughs> Frida Kahlo, yes. My, my paintings, I do have paintings, they are on my region. <laughs> Keep in mind the exhibit design in just one scene. You can create your own, of course. Let's go to the other room. Here we have Escher's or Escher. Another point to note. is that I have included light sources as well in this exhibit. There are some lamps, yes. So you can move light sources to explore with lighting. We have also some projectors, yes. Also remember, the whole building is a scene too. There is an app that allowed us to stick rooms like Minecraft blocks. So very quickly to create large buildings, you can place furniture, etc. As I told you, within minutes. Well, it will save, well, save a lot of time and when you get the hang of it, it's very easy, it's very quickly. Ramesh, where did you want to go? Um. 
Well, the meeting room is upstairs. So this is the meeting room where we are. This is an example. Well, our meeting room looks like that. So this, yes, we come here to brainstorm. All these stick, sticky notes can be moved, etc. You can enter text easily. And this is also an app. And you can also show things on this sticky as well. This is wonderful for, for a class, you know. You can, you can teach a class here easily. Yeah, there is a web browser as an object. It can be used in many ways. It's also for business meetings. Yes, you can, you can customize everything, every item and mixing and it will always be your own. You, nobody, will, nobody will have the same, even if you're using the same tools. Lots of diversity in content. Now let's go to the honeycomb room. So Selby is going to fly. I think we're going to fly or to jump this next door. We will try to jump to a room. So Ramesh, how can we do that? Through the heart. Maggie, I think you have to log out, you know, just click on finish so that you can show um, what, what, what we are going to explain. So if you click on finish, the heart will disappear from your screen, All right? Thank you. And you see this little square on your left hand side with a blue triangle. Right. When it toggles on, it changes. Now you click. You have to click on it. You click and hold. Oh, sorry. You click on this <laughs> square and it gets another color. And then you click and hold on a room of interest. and see what happens. So just click on this little, little white square on your left hand side and it will be blue. And then another arrow will appear. Yeah, Maggie has done it. And I think then she has clicked on a room. And I think she has been teleported. So this is what happens. Right? Oh no, no, her uh, heart is not on. Yes, yes, you finished. But now Maggie, you have a very, very little square on your left, top left. It's a very little square, it's white, and it has got a blue triangle in the middle, and it's very tiny. Yes, there is this blue arrow, you click on it, 
and when you click on it, it turns blue, right? The square turns blue. Okay. And when you then, when it's blue, and you click on any room of interest, see what happens. So you can click on the room on top of us. See, I clicked on the window of this second floor and I was teleported. Just click and hold. Click on the window of this uh, floor. You click on it, little head appeared. Um, can anybody see? Yes, it's blue now. So, and now click on the window of, um, of the next floor or on, on, on the next floor. And then you will be teleported. On any window or any floor. <laughs> um, I don't see any little head. On the blue arrow, yes, uh, then this is to go back. If you click on it, you will return to where you started. So when, when, you, when you have this little, yes, you probably were, you could not see yourself. You were, um, okay, the little head, that was the picture. Yes, there is a little head above. Okay. So maybe if you go a little bit further and click then on the other room while your little hut is blue yes not just click click and hold until you are teleported see i just clicked and i was teleported and then i got this arrow at the bottom that shows me you can go back to where you were Left click and hold on the room. Yes. No, the bottom has the, the button has to be blue, and then you just left click the room and hold. It, it's more effective if you do that on the window. Ah, yes, you are there. So, and the arrow that you have at the bottom, you know, it is to go back. And that is a little head you were looking at probably. Yes. Yes, so you click on the arrow to go back, and there you are. 
this is one of the functions that are that Ramesh was explaining. <laughs> so Ramesh, are you going to show the other function? Oh yes, okay. Ramesh is saying that even the big 3D titles are apps. Yes, all the are written, you know, these letters, everything written in midair, they are apps as well. So everything in this world is made of apps, every item. Yes, we can visit molecules, the molecules app. Uh, let me have a look, where, where is it? I'll have to fly, oh yes, it's in red, big red letters. Molecules app. Again, if you click on the room where Ramesh is, you can just appear there. You don't need even you don't even need to fly. I think if you're at a certain distance, you can just click on the building, the floor you want to have, the room you want to have, and there you are. Maggie's gone. I don't know where she is now. So, you can decide to have the scenes loaded here in a room to create a museum exhibit. Or, Maggie is coming. There she is. Instead of having one scene per room, you can choose to load scenes one by one. <laughs> it's fine, Maggie. It's fine to experiment. That's what this scene is for. Right, Ramesh is going to create a molecule for illustration to see how objects snap together quickly, a small one. So yes, if you're going to have a presentation on molecules, for example, you can, you can have just one room and load different scenes, one after the other, so that you can show something that is, uh, that has to do with, with building, with how to build up something. It's quite interesting and quite useful for teaching as well. So Ramesh is going to create something right now. See how quickly, just get things out of your inventory, well, of this hard <laughs> inventory. All the parts have been designed mathematically, precisely. 
so that the atoms connect at the right angles. This is CH4, one carbon atom, an H hydrogen atom, The carbon atom has been designed so that the bond angles are just an example, quick example. So when you're explaining something and you have to showcase, this is a very good tool. I always like to see diamonds. Here is one for you, your other half to wear. <laughs> so this is a scene being loaded. It's a bit spiky. Well, yes. So this scene was created before. Well, we also have this Miller Craft app. Right, let's fly to the Miller Craft app, to the big Miller Craft app. So let's wait for Maggie, <laughs> she's coming. Which is really not just for kids. <laughs> this app is just fun to play with. Sally, do you teach in Minecraft or something? Oh, that's nice, yes. Okay. Ramesh? Yes, Ramesh is showing. <laughs> the particles, which is really impressive. Yes. Yes, Minecraft in education is big at the moment, yes. Oh, um, you are burning me. Okay, let's move away. 
yeah, the, the video is not showing the particles. Um, I'm looking at them. It's a big fire. Strange. Oh yes, now, now they are showing. Oh, and now they are not showing again. So every time Maggie moves, they seem to go. Now they are showing again. <laughs> it's okay, Maggie. Yeah, they are showing. So if you go back, Maggie, you can you can see Burning Man. <laughs> A little bit move away and then just stay quiet and there you can see yes so you can combine this with uh, Millercraft and other apps garden app or something and this is just well, I, I like making machinima here as well because you have so many effects that you don't have anywhere else in any other world. There are lots of opportunities for thinking about how to design the cubes as well, yes. And lastly, say it's Ramesh. Let's see how rooms are loaded into buildings. Oh, we have to move a little bit further, okay. Any creator any creator can add their stuff to apps. Yes. But we can also create items for people. Yes. We welcome third party content. Right. There we are. Maggie is coming. She's, um, well, I don't know if I can. Maybe I can teleport you, Maggie. Okay. Right, here you are. Oh, she's here already. Okay, I'm going to read what Ramesh says again. Let me show I stick rooms together. Starting with these hexagonal cells. See how quickly you can have your classroom. And then you just start putting furniture inside.
So things stick basically automatically, like the Minecraft cubes. See how fast they load and disappear. And now this is the other building. It's very fast, yes. Welcome, Judy. This is a transparent room. Yes, it does, but maybe your your heart is not blue, is it? Oh, Maggie is gone. Ah, she went back to the molecules building. Well, she's coming back now. Okay, so I can summarize. My heart was still... Oh, sorry, it's Maggie. <laughs> well, uh, yeah about one minute, but I think if you summarize, it should be short. Okay, it's okay if we go over a bit so you can summarize. We can separate worlds into apps. Apps are a way to customize parts. The parts then need combining to build more expressive, more useful and more socially engaging learning spaces. We spend a lot of effort helping users type in text, 3D and otherwise, and importing images that can be displayed in a very straightforward manner. In short, that is all we have for this event, hoping for a part two of the presentation soon. We, we will still not finish with part two, Ramesh, we have too many things <laughs> in the future, yes. <laughs> No, not now, no, no, I, but still in the future, we will not manage to explain everything with part two. <laughs> yeah, of course, next year, sure.